Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. I'm super excited because today we are doing, I'm showing you my absolute favorite Class A gas motor home with bunk beds. This is the 2020 Coachman Murata model 35BH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm gonna give you three reasons why I love this coach and three things that I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, my name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you the true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. So if you find reviews like this useful, consider subscribing. And again, Today we are taking a look at the 2020 Coachman Murata model 35BH. Now a lot of people always ask what's my favorite motorhome and there's so many different answers it's all situational but when it comes to my favorite bunkhouse class A this one's it because I feel like for a bunkhouse model you shouldn't spend too much money because you have kids that are going to mess up your motorhome right now before I show you everything that I love about this motorhome I would like to introduce everybody to my wife Say hi, Andrea. Hi, everybody. Great. So this is the Coachman Murata. Coachman makes the Pursuit, the Murata, and the Murata Select. This is right in the middle. It's an amazing price point. Model is 35 BH, but the actual tip-to-tip -tip length is 36 feet 10 inches. You do have partial body paint and stickers and graphics down the center, which gives it a full body paint look without the full body paint price. Coming down the side, you have your cameras right here. It is a V10 engine, 320 horsepower Ford V10 engine with 460 pounds of torque, 19.5 inch tires. This is the only thing I dislike about this motorhome. It would be better if it had the 22.5 inch tires, but again, price point motorhome. Coming down the side, you do have frameless windows throughout the whole RV. You have a nice big exterior television and you have a nice big awning, power awning with LED lights. Power awning with LED light strips. Very nice. What's also a very cool feature about this awning, it does have speakers in the awning. Very cool. Right here, you have these fiberglass slam latch doors, past your storage, if you may, Andrea, please. Show that past your storage, nice. And these nice slam latch doors, just like that. Now, because this is a uh, Coachman, they use the Asdale composite. So what that is, instead of Luon, most manufacturers use Luon to either vacuum bond or pinch roll the fiberglass sidewalls to it. Coachman uses Asdale, Asdale, which is a uh, composite. It will never delaminate on you. Coachman's been using this for 10, 11, 12 years, and they haven't had one case of delamination, so it's pretty good. Coming down the side here, you do have a little bit more storage. Right over here, you have even more storage. Right here's a GFI core, so, uh, well, just power, but it does run off the GFI. So that is for your toys outside, if you had a golf cart or anything. Did I mention frameless windows? Frameless windows throughout the whole RV. Over here, this is gonna be your propane. And a little fun fact, you know how I knew it was propane? Because there's no handle, it's only the twist locks for safety. It is a 20 pound propane tank, and I'll have all the rest of the specifications, lengths, widths, tank sizes, all down in the description below. And then right there, you do have a propane quick connect. Right here, you have a little bit more storage because you never have enough. And then here, you have your 10-gallon DSi water heater. Coming around the back, you do have a rear fiberglass cap right here. What, I, what I'm a huge fan of, fuel fill up in the rear, and that makes it easy to fill up your fuel on both sides. You do have a 5,000-pound hitch, and this motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. And then right up there, you do have a backup camera. Oh, also, this has a one-piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. 
All right, up here on the roof, you can see that it is a one-piece fiberglass roof with not one, but two air conditioning units because it is a 50 amp motor home. Right up there is your digital antenna, your King Jack digital antenna. Right here and here's air vents. Doesn't have the max air covers, but you can get that on. Right there's your Wi-Fi Ranger. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. What other RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass and climb up on the roof to show you what features the roof has to offer? That is one thing I will say. Um, I do need to start watching my profanity a little bit, but that phrase, I'm keeping that one. But I do agree with everybody. Even my wife says I need to cut it out. Ain't that right, babe? That's right, tone it down. Tone it down. Take it down a notch, not to zero. I'm at like a level three. Take it to like a 1.5, you know what I'm saying? Over here is your wet bay. You have your black tank and gray tank right there. It's all enclosed, it's pretty nice. Your black tank flush right there. And you do have a light right there. Over here is your 50 amp power cord. Surge protector, does come standard from the factory. Over here is your Cummins Onan 5500 generator. Very fancy, very nice. It does run off the fuel tank. Finishing up with the driver's side. Here's your sanitation station, your wet bay, your outdoor shower, water filtration system, another black and gray tank. This is a bath and a half motorhome. That's why you have two. You know, and another black tank flush. Very, also, your low point valves. Very, very nice motorhome. All right. Here's the other side of the storage. And this is just uh, access compartment to get to some maintenance stuff. Great. Oh, and to finish up the outside, this headlight design, if you can get the headlights, babe. This headlight design, this is a 2020 part one. They did make a little change to the 2020 part twos and I'll show you a picture of what the headlights look like right now and I like both sets of headlights there's pros and cons to both but the outside of this motorhome looks great but it looks even better let's go take a look All right, inside the Murata 35BH. Look at how spacious this is when the slide outs are in. You got plenty of walk space there, the dinette. You can simply and easily get to this bathroom back here. You need to suck in a little bit, but don't we all? All right. Great, now while I'm getting the slide out out, if you could do me a huge favor, leave down in the comments below let me know three things you like about this motorhome and let me know three things you don't like about this motorhome. The more people who comment down in the comments below also hit that thumbs up button, the more YouTube likes to promote my videos and Andrea. We are at, we just hit 13,000 subscribers. Thanks so much everyone. We appreciate it. And we couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> Great. Let's get started with up front. So up front in the cockpit area, check this out. Integra Coach. Fleetwood, no, not Fleetwood. Integra Coach. Thor. Nope, Thor does it right. Check this out, you ready? Look at that, I love this tray. If Thor does this as well, if you don't do this, I don't like your product. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I still like your product. Just come on, that computer tray is absolutely incredible. 
You have these nice seats. They are two-tone colored. Very, very nice. Up here in the driver's seat area, you have your monitor right here. It shows your left blinker, right blinker in reverse. This is just your normal dash. Auto leveling right here. Power shades. You have your privacy blinds. And then you also have your daytime blinds, which will stop about right here when your engine's running. And it's just a really, really nice feature. Pretty basic up front, nothing too fancy. But again, bunkhouse motorhome, you know, I don't think I'd want to spend $150,000 on something fancy. Cabinetry right here. We'll get to the price in a minute though. And then it does have a bunk over the cab. Right here. Wow, this is a nice big bunk over the cab. See, this cushion can come out and you can store all your gold bars down there. There's also a security net so your kids don't roll off. And yeah, this bunk over the cab holds 500 pounds. You wanna see how fast it goes up? Watch. Wow, I can't believe how fast that went up. I know, right? That's TV magic. Over here in the living room area, you have storage above, some LED lights. LED lights throughout the whole RV. And why I'm a big fan is because the sofa is directly across from the television. I'm a big fan of that. This TV, but don't worry, it doesn't take away from your storage in your kitchen. You still have that. Also, this is a tri-fold sofa, so it makes an adult-sized bed for a guest. And you do have cup holders in the seats. Yeah. Seat belts in the in the cushion area. Yep. There you go. Let's see if I can uh, show you how fast it closes up. I guess you're out of magic. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I gotta do it manually. It's a very nice trifold. Very nice. Over here in the kitchen area, you have this beautiful Corian solid surface material countertop. I love the swirls in it. You have a Nice big stainless steel sink, residential, with these nice sink covers. And then check out these drawers. You ready for this? Oops, <laughs> that didn't work. You ready? Oh, snap. I forgot what they're called, but they're like assist drawers. I don't know what they're called. Over here, you have a nice oven with stove top, glass, cover three burners right there and then right here you do have a microwave it is not a convection oven and you have a little bit of storage above there and you have this nice big residential refrigerator wow check that out oh my god it's already cold right now we only had it on for about a half hour nice residential refrigerator and it does run off an 1800 watt inverter now for the MSRP how much does it cost? MSRP on this motorhome is $156,177. That's MSRP. And then our sale price is $112,995. That is what you call map pricing. That is the lowest the manufacturers allow us to advertise it for. But if I have a link down in the description below to the website for General RV, the company I work at. Also, here's all my contact info. Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com, 301-906-0962, that's my personal cell, and www.mattsrvreviews.com, that's my website. 
you contact me if you're interested in this motorhome, and I guarantee you, I'll get you a better price than $112,995. Let's continue the video. Over here in the kitchen area, this is one of my favorite features. I absolutely love the U-shaped dinette. I can't believe more manufacturers aren't putting this in. You know, this is great. This is, those dinettes, only two and a half people can sit at. This you can get the whole family around. Yeah, the table's a little small, but everybody will be able to sit and eat comfortably. Look at that, that's so fancy right there. And then, you have drawers right there, and drawers right there. Art Deco. Also, you have a TV right there, so if you have multiple stuff on, you can watch multiple televisions. Coming down the hall, here is your half bathroom. Porcelain toilet, very good. Plenty of leg space in here. Really nice, you have a sink, it's a half bath. And then if you wanna stand right there, please, thank you. Right here, this is your auto gen start based off of time, temperature, or voltage. So this is because you have the residential refrigerator. This is a high-end feature on a mid-price coach. It's just really nice. And then here's the bunks. And why I love this motorhome is because even if you don't have kids, or if you only have your kids part-time or your grandkids, look how this flips up and becomes convertible wardrobe space. Or if you uh, have dog crates and you do dog shows, check that out. Each bed holds 300 pounds. You have a window and you have a TV in each bed. Very, very nice. And let's see how long it is. Let's see how long it is. There you go. I'm six foot five <laughs> and I fit just fine. No, I'm just kidding. I'm five four. So, you know, five eight, five nine, five ten, whatever. They're just kids. <laughs> They'll live with it. Cool. Over here in the master bedroom area, again, using up as much storage space as they can, the TV is on a swing arm. Look how deep that is. Tons and tons of storage. Absolutely incredible. You have this nice queen size bed. It does flip up for a ton of storage. I personally like how the bed is not on a slide out, so it doesn't do that fold up thing. Yeah, it's a little bit of a smaller bedroom, but you're able to sleep in this at all times. And check this out. You know what this is? You see this? This is called a sleep app station. You have a plug right there, GFI. You plug your sleep apnea machine in there, and then you run your hoses down, boom, and then you shut it, because you're all good. Sleep app station. Very nice. And then you do have power cords on each side, right there and there. Finishing up in the master bathroom. Holy smokes. Look at this shower. Oh my God. This is an incredibly big, sh look at this. This, so I used to sell Murata's when I worked at this uh, evil dealership in Maryland, not Leo's. Mexico, right? And uh, I love the Murata though, and I still love the Murata to this day. It did not have this size shower. This is absolutely incredible. I love this with the glass door. Very fancy. And then right here, you have a nice mirror. If you want to stand right there. Perfect. You have this nice mirror. And you have storage right here. Right? Very nice. And to finish up with the master bathroom, look at how much leg space you have. Absolutely incredible. Very, very nice. Now, even though this is my favorite Class A bunkhouse motorhome, it's time for me to give you three things I love about this motorhome and three things I dislike about it. What should I do first? Three things you dislike about it. Perfect. That's easy. And it's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy like, oh, it's easy for me to find dislikes. 
it's easy because this motorhome is so perfect, I easily picked out three little flaws. First thing, dislike, I love the U-shaped dinette, but because of that, you get a small table. It's something you just have to live with. I still love this. By the way, I didn't mention this does drop down to make a bed. Oh, oh, oh! Ah. Outside. I love the outside. I just like how there's only one awning. I feel like they should have at least put an armless awning on that one. There might be some reasons why you can't. But again, I don't make these things. I'm just, uh, I'm just the shower. So that's number two. And then number three, I'm going to say, back in here. I don't like this TV right here. It's just kind of weird and random. Your sofa's right there. You can see your TV right over there if you show that, right? Also from this dinette, you can see it. Also from the driver's chair, you can see it. So this is kind of a, an irrelevant television. I almost honestly save the money and put a microwave convection oven in this as well, just in case your oven ever breaks. That's me. Now, three things I love about this motorhome. One, I absolutely love the price point. And what I mean when I say that, for the low, low, low hundreds, not 112, even lower than that, for the low, low hundreds, you get a bath and a half motorhome. And just, just look at the workmanship and the quality. Don't get me wrong, it's not a Tiffin, it's not a Bounder, but it's just a great motorhome for a family. I love how you're getting this residential refrigerator. I love the U-shaped dinette. I love how the sofa's directly across from the television. I love, you know, I'm giving you, I'm gonna give you more than three things. I love, I'm just gonna spell out everything. Come on, we only got 10 seconds left. I love how the bunks flip up to become convertible storage. I love how it has a sleep app machine. I love how the bed folds up and has tons of storage. I also love how the bed doesn't fold up so you can lay down on it while you're driving down the road. And to wrap it all up, come on down. I love this incredibly big shower. Well, that's it. That's the review. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you could, leave down in the comments below. Let me know three things you love about this motorhome. And let me know unlimited things you don't like about... Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Let me know three things you don't like about this motorhome. And let me know everything you do like about this motorhome. Again, dollar for dollar, price point, motorhome. This is one of my absolute favorites, hands down my favorite for bunk beds. If you have any questions about this RV or any other RVs, contact me. Got my cell number, you got my email, you want my address too, you can have whatever you want. Um, I want to thank Andrea for filling in for Will and Jen for the recording. Thanks so much, babe. You did a great job. Thank you. Great. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.